I've done videos on brisket, pulled pork and ribs, but the one barbecue staple we're missing is barbecue short ribs. You know, these big diner ribs with a big bone on it. And actually the flavor of those is absolutely amazing and they cook really fast. So let me show you how to do it. When choosing your beef short rib, try to find one with the most amount of meat on them possible. If the ones you see only have about an inch or so of meat on them, it's better to pass them up, because once they cook down, there's very little meat left on them. Season the ribs generously. This is a big cut of meat, so you can liberally season for a nice bark and flavor. Today I'm using Thunderbird Wings Bravo Rub. Keep watching to hear us talk about it while we eat. Today I'm using the Fogo Premium Lamb Charcoal Black Bag. The medium sized pieces light fast and will provide me with a nice bed of coals for my oak smoking wood. I took the fire grate out of my Kamado Joe and I'm going to cook at the very bottom of the smoker, almost like a stick burner. But make sure to not do that at home. There's a reason the firebox is elevated from the bottom of the smoker, because excessive heat could damage the ceramics and break your smoker. I'm setting the Kamado Joe for smoking at 275 degrees. I always like to put in a water pan. It helps to stabilize the pit temperature and provides moisture for the meat. And most importantly, it catches all those drippings and rendered fat so my smoker stays clean. Once you have that light blue smoke, your smoker is all set. Put the beef ribs on and smoke them for about 5 hours until all the collagen has broken down and the ribs are super tender and moist. You should be able to stick a probe in them with barely any resistance. That's how you know that they are done. That occurs usually once they hit around 202 to 205 degrees internal temperature. All right, guys, these short ribs are done and they look absolutely spectacular. Yes, they do. Hey, Ron, yeah. thanks for coming again. Yes, sir. Let me Thank show you. you this. Guys, I'm going to have to show you this. Look at this. Look how <laughs> crazy juicy this is. Doesn't get much better than this. Look at this. Wow. All right, Ron, are you ready? I am ready. To get a slither of this. Cut me off a chunk of that. Whoa, look at this. That's beautiful. It's so tender. Look how easy that thing is. Yeah, look. Helps to have a good sharp knife. Look at this. Comes Beautiful. right off the bone too. No like kidding. perfectly cooked. And this was a little bit of a, I mean, not a turbo cook, but I cooked it quite high at like 275 for about five hours. So it was quite fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised how quickly yeah. it cooked actually. Yeah, check this out. Really nice. That. Beautiful. It's got a nice little smoke ring to it on the outside here. Yeah. Nice, the bark is beautiful. I mean, it's set First up time I never gorgeous. get smoke ring on anything, so I'm yeah, really, I'm pretty happy about this. <laughs> a 116 smoke ring. 116, that's I'll take right. it. Hey, some smoke ring is better than no smoke <laughs> yeah, ring, Yeah, right? exactly. You know, and the thing about it is everybody gets caught up with a smoke ring. It has no effect on the flavor <laughs> whatsoever. It just right. looks real pretty. It looks good. What do you oh, think? Oh man, I love it. Yeah. It tastes just like brisket to me. Mm. Man, that's awesome. Oh man. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, we're gonna need some paper towel. Some right this is so bitch. Look at my fingers. Yeah. Thank you. Have one. Mmm. Brian, can you do me a favor? 
Pass me one of the red bottles. Thank you. Juan is our trusted cameraman. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so actually today, um, I forgot to put the wrap here, but today we use Thunderbirds Bravo Wrap yeah. on this, um, which has some unique flavors, among others, cinnamon, cocoa, cumin, and cloves. Cool. What do you taste? Um, I don't know, you know, I got the nice salty flavor. Um, Is it a bit off or what no, you expected? I think, it, I think it's I think once it cooked down like that, I think it's I think it's really good actually. I, I like it a lot. Yeah. You know, I'm used to doing something with just salt and pepper. I usually just use kosher salt and pepper on something like this. Yeah. And um, you know, it's got just a little different flavor to it, but I think it's really good actually. I, I like it a lot. Well, the first two ingredients are pepper and salt, mm -hmm. then brown sugar, and then it has all this kind of funky stuff. And I think right. I think uh, at the time of applying it, yeah, I could really tell. You could really smell. You could smell it. Sure. Yeah, it had a lot of um, cinnamon and spices and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But no, you know, once it's cooked in and kind of combined with the smoke right. and formed that bark, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I was a little worried, you know, that it has this like holiday kind of flavor to it, but no, it's great. The funny thing is, okay. you know. Um, they're really well known for their chicken rub, they, you know, yep. chicken scratch oh, rub, yeah. yep. which you know I use that all the time. So when I said the chicken guys are coming out with a beef rub, what are you, you know, kidding me? But <laughs> no, it's really good. They did a really nice job yeah. with it. Actually, we did a video on Thunderbird wings last year. We're gonna put a link, um, you know, check it out. I'm gonna put like a link um, in in the video. You know, nice. it's nice. It made a beautiful bark on here. You know, I mean, if you yeah. look at, this, I know that some people. If they don't know, they're gonna look at this and go, oh, that's all burnt. That's not burnt, that's exactly oh, yeah. what you want. I mean, yeah, it's, it's perfect. Looks like it's completely burnt, but obviously with low and slow barbecue, that's kind of something, this is what you're kind of looking for, what you expect. It's absolutely amazing. It gives it a really nice flavor too. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that crunch on the outside. I love, I love when a good bark sets up like that. Juan, have a bite. Let us know how you think about it. <laughs> you know what else is cool is that a lot of times when you're making something like this or a brisket, we'll wrap it in paper or wrap it in foil, something like that. We just did a straight through cook on this. Yeah. No wrap, no yeah. foil, yeah. no anything. And you can see it's juicy as can be. Yeah. It's well, got a beautiful bark. You know, I think on a smaller piece like this, mm -hmm. a wrap is not necess you know, totally necessary. Yeah. It's kind of like ribs, you know, like uh, baby bag ribs. Mm -hmm. Some people say you should ra uh, wrap it. Other people say you don't need to wrap it. Right. And you know, like this whole like three, three, one thing, you know, everybody has their own thing. But I think kind sure. of with ribs, it's so little meat and it's kind of somewhat of a quick cook. Yeah. It's not really necessary. Could be. With the brisket, yeah, because you know the stall could be ours. Yeah. And you can you can really help it cooking along much faster. It still sat in the stall for quite a while, you know, yeah. but to me that just firms up the bark more. On yeah. a brisket, I don't like to wrap it right at the 165 mark. You know, I let it go for a while still oh, because yeah, it yeah. just firms up that bark yeah. real nice. Yeah, I mean yeah. the bark the bark is really nice, like oh, really gorgeous. crunchy and firm. Really good. But it's also really rich. You know, this is good meat. I got this from, um, what's it called? Grand Western Steaks in uh -huh. Fort Lauderdale. Oh yeah. They actually, they ship nationwide. Yeah. But one of the things why I don't do short ribs more often right. is I feel it's very hard to get a nice short rib like this. That's like an inch, two inches. I think this was two inches thick right. before we uh, cooked it. You know, I'm, uh, obviously it became smaller and smaller. Like here you can tell a little bit better. Like this was thick. It, it was a thick piece of meat. And sometimes when I go to the supermarket or my butcher, my local butcher here, mm -hmm. I, I always find these, you know, I find more like this, you know, like on this side, like an inch thick. Sure. And it's just not worth cooking sometimes it. Really By the time I'm cooking it for four or five hours, cooks there's down nothing to left. Just, yeah, yeah exactly. All you're eating is bark. Yep. And then it's not, you know, uh, it's kind of not worth it. Yeah. You know, the nice thing too, when you look at these things, what you want to look for when it's cooked right, this this meat oh, yeah. was all the way out to the end of the bone. Yeah. Oh, know? yeah. So as we cooked it, it shrinks up and it, and it tightens up. You get this whole thing, it's called a bone pole, you know, and it looks like teeth smiling at you yeah. when you're done, you know. But um, that's that's always a good sign that you that you cook yeah, one well. Yeah, I mean, here well. you have like this um, little handle, stone age look, yeah. you know, <laughs> where you can hold it on both sides and just go for it, caveman style. Mm. Oh, this is the way to eat these things. Yeah, the flavor is really <laughs> outstanding. Wow, oh, that's good stuff. Man. Really good. Yeah, I like this. It's a nice alternative to brisket. It's fun, you know. Mm. It looks cool. The bones make it yeah. look cool and everything. So you know, I think it's real good. Clean bones. Yeah. That's another good sign. When that comes off, when that meat comes off that bone nice and clean, you yeah. know you did something right. It's like a pulled pork. Yeah. You can pull that bone out of there, you did something well. Oh yeah. Huh. You know, it's nice too. It's a little bit less fatty than a brisket. Yeah. You know, a brisket will have that big giant line of fat right it there. Has a little it's bit got a little fat, bit. Yeah. But no, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. And it ran out right out. 
you know, it's like intermuscular sure. marbling. Yeah. That rendered and it just gave us flavor. And there you have a little bit of a skin. This is like the, the part from Great. underneath the bone. Yeah. So very little oh, beef, the fat one, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of skin. Yeah, grab some of these pieces. They're pretty good. That sounds good too. Juan, how do you like it? It's pretty good. It's pretty like rich in the flavor. Yeah? All right. Yeah. You want another piece? <laughs> there you go. Everybody gets some. Yeah. And the nice part about these things is that it fills you up pretty quickly. So one oh. piece like that we oh, got, yeah. you can feed a bunch of people with this. Yeah, yeah definitely. All right, guys. So yeah, do me a favor. Check out Thunderbird Wings. Bravo Wrap. Really good stuff. Really good. We enjoyed it a lot. I like it a lot. This was awesome. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you learned something today. And see you again next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.